Time for our torture test of the Nokia Lumia 1020. Now, the test I have in mind today isn't the most likely occurrence. But given that it's crush season and given the theme of this week's show, I thought we would conduct our pressure and moisture test with something special. A little crush of my own. I want you to know, this is kind of a lifelong dream of mine. The lifelong dream didn't involve the phone. Ah, <laughs> that is so squishy. But it's pretty awesome anyway. Okay, get in there, phone. I think I need to just, um, you know what? I need to cheat a little bit and bury it. Put that down in there. Okay. I hope it doesn't like crack. <laughs> this is super squishy. Guys, I'm making Windows phone wine. 1020 vintage. It's kind of slippery. Phone's getting a little slippery. You can see splashing. All right. I'm just gonna let it marinate for a minute. Ooh. Some grape juice on my hands. Okay. Let's rescue it. Oh yeah. It's pretty wet. I can't do anything with this phone until I rinse it. So, sorry, dude. You're getting a double dunking. Okay, right, work. Okay, let me just remind you again that I know perfectly well that I'm not supposed to try to turn the phone on at this point, but here I go. Okay, I felt a vibration, but I'm not seeing much in terms of the screen. Definitely does not want to come back on, so I am gonna try to dry it out. Oh, oh wait, it's restarting. You can do it, little Nokia. Don't worry, I'll try you out. I'll try you later. Just show us what you got, buddy. Windows phone. It's on. Look at that. I want to go to the gallery. I want to see if it was recording. Okay, it looks like we may have done some damage to the camera, which is kind of a tragedy. Although, to be honest, I think I'm going to do more damage to the camera because you didn't think I was going to leave out the drop test, did you? So now my phone is all sticky and it's starting to attract bees, so I feel like I need to get rid of it. Oh no, my phone fell. Some water splashed out all around it and grape juice. Got a little dirty. Dirt's now turning to mud. Otherwise, I don't really see much damage at all. I think we should try that again. A lot of water came out that time. No physical damage that I can see. A little bit of a dent right here. But listen, the great thing about these Nokia phones is that they're made like absolute tanks. I really believe that if something's gonna take it out, it's gonna be the water, well, the wine. <laughs> uh, and that's it. But we are gonna try to dry it out and we'll check back in. I'm pulling for this little guy. I like the yellow. So here is the bag of rice, which the 1020 has been marinating in for several weeks now. I took it out though earlier today and I've been charging it all day, so let's see if I can get it to come on. First, I have to see if I can remember which one of these buttons that are totally unlabeled is the power button. I think it's the middle one. It seems like that button doesn't even depress anymore. Okay, there we go. Nothing. Let's try the bottom button nothing there. Now while it was charging the little Windows light was blinking and at one point it sort of restarted itself and gave me the Windows phone logo and then said that the battery was dead but I think what it really meant unfortunately was that the entire phone is dead. It was a valiant effort but even the pretty tough Nokia Lumia 1020 cannot survive being made into one. <laughs>